Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining. My name is Berit and today I want to talk about what happens when the lights are turned off at the Museum of Natural History in New York City. Today I want to talk about Relic by Douglas Preston and Lincoln Child. Uh, this is an author duo. Uh, they have written quite the amount of books together, but this was their very first one. It came out in 1995, so this is a bit of an older novel that I just read. Relic is a thriller that takes place at the Museum of Natural History in New York City. And this is kind of like a museum thriller, a kind of science thriller. And we have a bit of like biology and evolution and anthropology in there. So you have quite some scientists who play a role in this book, which I found very, very cool. It also gave me slight Jurassic Park vibes. Uh, the book was published about five years, I think, after Jurassic Park. I think that novel came out in 1990. And um, yeah, they do discuss dinosaurs at some point in this book, not at length, but I don't know, I got very, very slight Jurassic Park vibes. So this novel is about an expedition into the Amazon gone very wrong. This is also the prologue of the whole novel. Um, and then most of it takes place at the Museum of Natural History in New York, where very strange things, and by, by strange things I mean brutal murders, start to happen. And one of our main characters is Margot Green. She's a PhD candidate and she works at the museum. And she is in the, I think she's in the anthropology department and she has a project on plants and an indigenous tribe. So she's kind of uh, both in anthropology and a bit in biology. So anyway, one day Margot shows up at work and the whole museum is basically secured by the police because a brutal murder has happened the night before and what is more is that the museum is also preparing a new big exhibition so uh, things are pretty stressful and because the murder that has occurred is so brutal and so mysterious this is not just a case for the regular police but this is of course a case for the FBI and it is not just any FBI agent from New York that shows up uh, to solve the case, but it is actually Special Agent Aloysius, that's his name, yeah, Aloysius Pendergast from New Orleans, who has a kind of special interest in the case. And then together with uh, New York Police Lieutenant Vincent D'Agosta and also with Margot Green together, uh, Pendergast has to solve the case before the museum's exhibition will open. So he doesn't have a lot of time, he has a lot of mystery on his hand. So yeah, that is basically what the thriller is about. Pendergast, D'Agosta and Margot Green try to solve this case and things get pretty hefty. After having read this book, the first thing that I need to say is that I am a Pendergast fangirl now. I really like the character. I liked all the three main characters very much. But uh, Pendergast is this kind of like cool, kind of sassy FBI agent type. And for me, that was very fitting in this novel. I really enjoyed the character. And I think that a lot of the books that Preston and Child wrote together feature Special Agent Pendergast. So that sounds very promising. I would recommend you to read this novel if you like sassy FBI agents. And also if you like thrillers that have a kind of science, kind of supernatural touch to them. Um, because this is very well written, or at least I thought this book was very well written. Um, and it was also a very interesting uh, murder case, I think. The book does get a bit gory at times, so be aware of that before you read it. If you do not like detailed descriptions of what has happened to murder victims and like what parts of the body are ripped off, eaten, etc. then you should skip this one basically because it does get very detailed um, already in the beginning. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this book 
was that I thought it was pretty scary at times um, because the creature that goes around murdering people in the museum is very well written. I thought every scene where the creature appears um, and where they try to find out what this creature is that is murdering people, all of those scenes were written very well, I think. It was very atmospheric and I thought they they used this kind of uh, dark museum something is going on here atmosphere very well. And also uh, that might not exactly be a surprise, but also we learn more and more about the creature as the novel progresses. And that was also something that I really liked because it makes the creature more and more scary. So yeah, I thought the book was very well written. It was pretty atmospheric um, and it got very exciting. It turned into a page turner for me eventually. And um, I also have to say it kind of captured me on an emotional level as well because uh, as you have it in a thriller there uh, tends to be at least one character who kind of disagrees with uh, the main characters and then they want to do things following the rules and they kind of don't want to understand what's happening and stuff like that. Um, and I got very, very mad at those people in this book. And that for me was a sign for how hung up I was on what was happening and what was going on. So that was also very well written um, that you kind of totally get into it and, you know, things get very exciting, things get very thrilling. And yeah, that was something that the book did really well. For me, the book did however need some time to get started. It has about 400 pages and the first 50 or 70 pages circa were a bit slow for me. Even though you have uh, the murder happening, you have uh, people discussing what has happened and you have this whole mystery, Ooh, what is going on here kind of thing. Um, but for me, the book, was a bit slow in the beginning but I also wasn't in the biggest reading mood when I started reading the book but once um, Special Agent Pendergast enters the scene I was hooked and that might also be a reason for why I like this character so much because when he appeared I thought that things picked up and the atmosphere also kind of changed because you get the sassy um, cool FBI guy in but yeah, I thought the book was a bit slow at first, um, but then eventually it picked up a lot. And then um, as it is for a thriller, it got very thrilling and the pacing was uh, very well done, at least from like page 70 onward. I thought the pacing was very, very good. So yeah, I am not sure what uh, I want to say about this novel and what I don't want to say about this novel because I also don't really want to spoil anything in case you haven't read it because there is a lot to uncover in this book and I really like how everything takes place in this museum um, area and how you have scientists who kind of work there and you get to know what they do. And especially with Margot, you get to um, discover some of the scientific aspects that lie behind the murders and what is going on and how everything relates to the expedition that you have in the beginning of the book. And that is pretty cool to discover together with the characters. So um, I'm just going to say that it's been a while since I read a thriller and I really enjoyed this one. It also kind of reminded me of one of the missions in the video game Vampire the Masquerade from 2004, I think. Because in that video game you have one mission where you have to go into a museum and investigate something and you have to kind of sneak your way around there and of course it's night because you play a vampire, so everything takes place at night. Um, and the book kind of reminded me of this mission because it's also um, a pretty cool mission in the video game. 
So yeah, the novel also reminded me of this video game and especially of this very atmospheric mission in the video game, which I now also want to replay for the about 50th time maybe. But yeah, I, I'm not sure what else I would want to say about this thriller. I would absolutely recommend it to you if you haven't read it because it also it kind of gives 90s vibes which I also enjoyed a lot here um, it is a very good story with uh, scary and very cool things to to discover I don't want to say more about that because everything on that front would be a spoiler also the novel kind of sets a tone um, for more stories about Special Agent Pendergast and I think that at least Vincent D'Agosta also features in several other of the novels and um, I really liked how they work together as a team so I'm gonna guess that I will be reading more of these novels eventually because I really enjoyed it and I haven't read a lot of like thriller series where you have several books with the same main characters. So I'm basically just gonna leave you with a recommendation for this novel if you like science thrillers and if you like thrillers that are a bit scary and a bit gory and a bit mysterious and a bit 90s um, and if you like thrillers that feature a very cool special agent as a main character. So go ahead and read it if that sounds like something that you would also enjoy. I can just say I had a lot of fun with this book. I really liked that it was a bit scary here and there, um, which was kind of something that I was looking for um, at the moment. So that was really cool. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have read Relic, uh, let me know what you think. Also, if you know the movie, because I only read a bit about the movie. Um, I haven't seen it and I have read that it's not that good, probably. And also that they have changed the story quite a bit or they have changed the characters quite a bit. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and maybe I'll see you in the next one. Bye.